So let's let's start here. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a recap of Composing in Pentatonic Parallel Part 12, Advancement. In today's episode, we reviewed what we'd done since last stream. We watched a Bernstein video talking about horizontal and vertical sequences of notes, which are also known as melodies and harmonies. And another video on intervals and inverting the intervals, which gave us more ideas in the back of our head. We also reviewed our beats uh, visualization. Since uh, in the last stream we had composed something called beats, and we did actually make a visualization Then also for fun, we tried to, we put it in the, going in the other direction. But you get the idea. And that was fun because we kind of did it live, showing you some more of the, how you use the little visualizing editor to make things happen. So we did that. Um, then we really continued on our melody uh, enumeration of these these things. And we had put together a, okay, where is it? There. We had worked it out. We we did this in the last stream. We had a, a three note um, scale. Then we said, okay, we're going to call this a ramp. So a ramp is the scale plus the octave. Then we said a hop is when you take the first note and skip and go to like the third note. So that's a hop of one. And, and then we were kind of working with that. So we took some time and figured out all of the variations for th three note scales, four note scales, five note scales. And we did quite, a, we finished all the five note scales today. And it's quite interesting to realize that the longer, the more notes there are in the scale, the more hops and rolls you can do because there's more notes to work with. And we even completed a six note and then we just started to get to the eight note scale. And all of these scales have have names. So um, the reason we're doing this is we want to use these elements as uh, these figures as elements of a melody, and we can either pick the whole element or a part of it, and start and end on urges and roots and modes and neutrals. And when we hear a fast melody, I mean a fast element we can hear the harmony built into it. Whereas if it goes too slow, there, there is a harmony in there. There is a horizontal melody harmony, but you hear it when it's fast. So that's the idea why we're taking all the time to do this. Slow sequences are harder to hear as LME. Uh, melody harmonies. So we uh, we already covered that. Uh, we had a little insight about two of our scales, and we completed all the five note scale and the six note, and we've begun the eight. So what we'll end is we'll just play a few of these. We played <coughs> we'll play we'll play something from 
comparing hearing harmonies like here's dark minor dark major let's let's contrast those side by side that's a dark minor on the left and a dark major on the right and we already know we're kind of cheating we know that 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 has a very dramatic sound but let's just listen to it and this is and then if we hear um, let's just hear the first hops So that's pretty cool. Now let's do the light minor and the light major because these are the other key scale that we're working with. And again, the idea is using these melody elements as we call them. So here we'll hear the light minor. This is the scale and the ramp. So it's kind of subtle to hear it. Now let's see what the rolls sound like. And then we'll skip forward. Um, this is the uh, roll three. We'll compare on both sides to roll three. Oh, we forgot to put roll three in here. I guess we got to go back and do that. So instead, let's listen to hop three. And roll two. And this roll two. So that's the idea. And as we said, for our next steps, we will want to complete the eight and nine note elements and then go back to starting to put these to get these elements together into a pleasing sequence or you know an overall melody so thank you for your time attention curiosity and interest and as always keep on streaming <laughs>